Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views, as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views. But I'm going to bring it to the forefront on my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about four reactions. And I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my second reaction of today is going to be Julie and San Jose. And, and I believe that this track is called Adego or Dejo. Let me know about the pronunciations and syllables. I feel that I'm about to say 100% uh, wrong in the pronunciations. So I need you guys to help me with that now i have had the pleasure of reacting to her when she was on the um the wisp bus 107.5 and i said something which upset quite a few people but a number of people also agreed with what i said as well is when you come onto the wish bus you bring your a game you bring there's no kind of reserve in the tank if you if you don't feel drawn after you've done a performance in on the uh, wish bus then for me you haven't bring your a game and i see that a lot of people always bring the on um, the um, bring their a game i just felt that Julianne was very was playing in the comfort zone. She knew what she can do and she wasn't really busting a gut to actually, you know, bring her A game. Uh, and, I, I, and, I'm, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a song where you can see her A game, where she's busting her gut to get this song and get this and deliver this song into the best possible way that she can ever do, like, like her life depended on it. And what I see on the Wish Bus, when any artists go on there, they seem like their life depends on it. They really do. And I just felt that with Julianne, I just felt that she just played it safe. I just felt that she, or everything what she sung on there was absolutely brilliant, was absolutely lovely. But I just felt that there was more in the tank. I just felt that this was not her best song. And like, I feel that there was, there's a song out there which is, which says, right, wow, this is, this is, you know, this is Julianne. This is, wow, I can see what she's capable of. I've yet to see that. What I've seen so far is her singing a lovely song. You know, that's what I've seen. And it is a lovely song. Can she sing? Yes, she can. But I just feel that. I, from all the other artists that I've had the pleasure of reacting to on the, the Wish Bush, that I just felt that, I felt the end, um, the emphasis, I saw the, 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 you know, I want to be the best, I want to show the world, you know, that kind of feeling, that's what I got from other artists, I did not get that from Julianne, what I got from Julianne was her playing it safe, that's what I felt, that's my own, um, um, you know, that's what my own personal uh, uh, thoughts are. So I'm hoping to be proven wrong on this particular track where she's showing me much more than what she did on the Wisp Bus. And it's not about who can hit the highest notes and all anything like that. I just felt you can see when somebody's putting, bringing out their best performance. You know, and that's what I'm talking about. So, um, so hopefully she will show me in this performance. Uh, so that is um, Julianne San Jose with um, Adrago. And I hope I'm saying um, Adago, sorry, um, or Daddygo. Um, and let me know about the how, the how it pronounces. So that's what's going to be my next reaction of today. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic, amazing artists which I do not want you to miss out on and are broken down in various musical categories. Just remember, when you go into these individual categories, these are artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Right, which goes straight into my second reaction of today. So, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? A completely different environment altogether. Live orchestra, beautiful dress. I don't know where to find you. I don't know how to reach you. This is a powerful song. Skin. 
I'm going to stop it right there. Um, I have um, heard this song before. It was carried out by um, um, Lara Fabian, who is an absolute amazing artist. So I know where, the, you know, how she poured all her emphasis and, and her passion within this song and where the drive comes from. And I can tell you right now, already when she's singing this song, she's brought much more than what she's done on the Wish Bus. On just, just this, and this is what I'm talking about. Singing like this is like you have no tomorrow. Putting the passion, emphasis in, in, in every single word and detail where you're captivated on and hanging on, on every single word that she's saying. She did not give me this kind of persona on the Wish Bus. But what she's showing me right now, without a shadow of a doubt, is, is much more better than the performance on the Wish Bus. I'm just letting you know right now, this is what I've been looking for. Exactly this is what I've been looking for. I'm going to go back just a little bit. This is amazing. Within my heart and my soul, soul I wait for you. I get why the man's there. All of these nights without you. All of my dreams surround you. Where was she got the power? We'll see what she delivers. I see and I touch you. I'm hanging on every single word she's saying right now. I fall into embrace when the time is right. And look at her facial expressions. You can feel what she's saying.
So that was Julianne San Jose with Adagio. Um, yes, Lara Fabian has done this song. Uh, if you check her out, then you see, well, she's, she is an absolute amazing female artist. Um, she sings, uh, let me put things in perspective. She's a classical trained singer, um, Lara Fabian. And if you don't know who um, Damesh um, Kuderbergen is, um, they're in that classical train element. And it's a very, very difficult song to execute. It really, really is. And what Julianne um, did right there was an absolute amazing feat of um, persevering, amazing feat of, um, how, how do I put it, original choreography in there. She gave me so much of her personal stamp on this um, on this particular track. There were certain things that she could have easily followed suit of what the way how the song has been trained. She does, she's got a standard um, method, but there was a lot of her personal identity stamp that she's put on there. Um, she's given me so much drive. She gave me emphasis. She's given me the um, emotional. She's given me facial expressions. She's given me a lot of things that I wanted to see in the wish bus, which I did not get. Like I said, I, I see the difference. Between, I saw what plain safe is. It, a lot of people didn't understand. A lot of people didn't agree. And some people did agree. There's a difference between what she just executed there and what she executed on uh, and how she sang on the Wish Bus. And it's not about the, oh, oh, it's a different song. No, it's not, nothing about the song choice. It's about what you put in when you come to sing, when you bring it to the table, when you're singing like, this is my last time um, I'm ever going to sing, or this is the time that um, this song is going to make me. You know, every song that you sing, if you're a singer, is you sing like this song is about, this song is going to make me, not break me, you know? And... Uh, there's a lot of singers that do play safe in singing songs. And there's a lot of singers that sing like they have no tomorrow. You know, this performance was singing like she had no tomorrow. When she performed on the Wisp bus, she played it safe. Like there was many days to come after that. That's how I, that's how I looked at it. From the Avis artists that come on the Wisp bus and actually, and sing like there's no tomorrow. So now that you understand what I'm talking about regarding um, bringing it and not bringing it. Let's go and concentrate on this particular performance, what Julia has done. She snotted it out the park from beginning to end. The low tones that she was using to bring in the song. And when the orchestras, you know, she had a full orchestra. That was absolutely amazing. And she looked absolutely superb. The dress, the, um, her look is just wonderful. There's nothing that you can take away. Um, she, she, she dazzles, you know, she's a bedazzler. She really is. Um, then, like I said, she... she Carried me on the journey when she from from a beginning. Dun, 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 uh, na, na. Dun, dun, na, 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 na. She had everything when she was bringing into it, and I was like, whoa! I was like a snake charm, you know, like she was the snake charmer playing the um, the instrument, and I was out coming out the basket, just on her, you know, hanging on her every single word uh, that she brought onto the table. And she had me hot all the way to the end. I loved it all the way through. I can't knock it one piece. This is far, far, far better than her performance on the Wish Bus with ease. I would love to see something more of this. What song should I go to react to next where I'm seeing this type of performance rather than performance on the uh, Wish Bus? I understand that she does R&B and soul. So maybe just to see an R&B song of hers and see what um, her vocal capabilities are within the R&B song. But for now, this song took my breath away. Certainly did. It really, really, really did. And for that reason, I salute you. Amazing. <laughs>